Hello class. In this video I'm just broadly talking about presentation techniques and how you might use Illustrator to create them. Uh, one of the things you might begin to use is the guidelines in Illustrator to set up things like margins and borders and spacing between drawings. Now you don't always need to do that. In fact for this drawing that we see up on screen I did not use that at all. I just used my eye. But this isn't construction documents so like being exactly 100% precise isn't required. You know you eyeball it and it looks good enough and no one's going to know difference. But sometimes you do want to make sure your margins are set and, and good and spacing between drawings is good and things are in alignment and, and that's all all good and so you want to use guides uh, and I do use them sometimes. So I just want to show a quick video on how you do this. To draw guides, the first step is to show your rulers. If you don't see rulers, and just as is my case, I'm going to show you how to turn them on. If you see rulers here and here, you don't worry about this next step. You can go ahead uh, and go on. So I'm just going to go to View, and I'm going to go to Rulers, oh, rulers, and I'm going to go to Show Rulers. You can do Control R as well, and there we go. My rulers are on along the sides and along the sides. If they're not set to inches, just right click over top of it. I mean, you don't you don't have to work in inches, but if you want to work in inches, you can right click and set it to inches. Mine, mine set it as inches. So once you have the rulers on, to draw a horizontal ruler, you pull from the top and you have to be on a layer. The interesting thing about uh, guides in Illustrator is they are objects associated with the layer, which can be nice. So, so I'm going to make a new layer over here. You can call it guides if you want, I'll, as I often do if I'm using them. So I want to do a horizontal ruler. I click on the, on the top one and I pull down. You might be able to see a light gray line on screen there. And when I drop it, it'll turn to the typical Adobe sort of cyan colored line and, and it'll sort of help me snap things. Uh, if I want to move it, just make sure you're on the black arrow and click that cyan line. Actually, I think I might have them locked. Let me check that out. Okay, so I was just seeing my, gu my guides are locked here. Um, so if you want to unlock them, you come here, you go to guides, you go to view, you go to guides, and you go to unlock if, they, if yours happen to be locked. You know that because I tried clicking on mine and tried moving it. And that's all it should take to move it. Um, and uh, if that didn't work, you have to unlock it. So you can move it around to wherever you want. If I want to sort of set a top margin, I can place that there and see, oh, my text in my elevations are just about aligned. I could adjust that elevation up to that line right here if I wanted. It's pretty close, though. Again, I eyeballed it. Uh, you know, and I could, if I want to draw a vertical line, I can pull from this left ruler and pull it out and let go with my mouse uh, wherever I want. Right there on the edge of the, the fireplace, I get the cyan line, and you can see here, well, good, I've got my chimney and my floor plans, you know, pretty well aligned, so I am good there. It doesn't have to be on the edge, you can you can use these wherever you want, and if you want to want to get rid of them, just select, click on the line and press delete, and it's gone. And, or alternatively, which is what I'll often use a lot, if I want to keep a guideline on, because maybe I want to come back to it, so let me pull that one back on there. Since you're on a different layer, or we put it on our own layer in Illustrator, which makes sense, I can just hide the whole layer and they disappear and I can work and see what this looks like. And then if I need to make changes, I can go back and turn it turn it back on and it uh, it comes back on. So again, these guides can be used for margins, they can be used for spacing between drawings and so on and so forth. There's a lot of sort of presentation theory that might go ahead um, and set up rules for margins and spacing and all that. I'm not going to go over that in that video. I will go over that in lecture. But this is how you would get accuracy in Illustrator if you want to go ahead and do that. I think this is probably enough basic content of setting up presentations. So use these series of videos to create a unique presentation for yourself. And good luck. And I can't wait to uh, see what you come up with.